Hi everybody, this is the MATLAB and Simulink Racing Lounge. In today's episode we are going to talk about your keys to success, or at least our views on that. But first of all, let me state that MathWorks is supporting former student for quite a while. We have quite some we have gained quite some experience in judging. Um, we are all engineers and scientists, we are mostly car enthusiasts. Um, and we like your work, definitely. Um, the, the ultimate goal here is we want to support you and we want to accelerate your pace. Um, the agenda today is not very packed. We have two items. First item, obviously, your keys to success. Secondly, um, uh, I will lose some words on how we support you in your work. Let's get started right away. Um, well, when, when I talk to teams, when I'm judging teams in engineering design, I often hear, well, the major goal was a reliable car. I uh, usually ask teams, uh, what does that mean? And they say, yeah, well, a reliable car, okay. Um, but this is not a convincing answer. Um, a convincing answer could be, well, reliability for us means we want to finish all dynamics. Um, well, I, I further ask, what does that mean? And you may see at that graph here what, what we are going to talk about. Well, finishing all dynamic disciplines means you need to, uh, uh, quite some test days to test your full vehicle out on track. And if you well, successfully finish 10 endurance run while testing, you can be quite sure that you can make it during the event. But still, what does that mean? What does that require? Well, you have to break it down further. That means your car has to move at a certain time way before the event. All components should be tested, all tests should be validated. Um, and still, this is not the end. Um, you need a manufacturing deadline to achieve all that. You should have all your test data available, you should have the test tricks available, you should have modeling concepts in place that help you um, achieving your goals. And at the end we are talking about topics like when is your design freeze? Who is responsible for which component? What about your resources? Um, test data, hardware partners, um, purchasing components, test partners. So there are a lot of individual questions. So our, our main take is break your goals down. To build a lightweight car is not a goal. Um, to mention a number or like 220 kilograms is, is better than nothing, but still you have to break it down to every individual component. What is possible with a given amount of resources um, and so on. Well, make your goals data-based. That's very important. Break them down and make them data-based. Um, identify solutions. Well, that's probably the easy step for you, your engineers. Um, that's straightforward and tackle them, right? Good. Um, then another another topic that I'm, I'm very um, interested in is quality. Well, sometimes I see beautiful things, perfect engineering solutions um, in a car that is average quality. And what I always see is quality of your car is not defined by its highlights, not at all. Let's have a look at the, at the definition um, from ISO, um, ISO 9000. Um, Quality is the degree to which a set of characteristics fulfills requirements. Okay, quality is, is a certain degree that fulfills requirements. Set of characteristics is your car. It's not the individual solutions, um, it's a full car. And requirements, yeah, you, you can recall that, uh, we talked about goals. And finally, this concludes to me to the following statement. You're one team building a race car together. And what definitely matters is teamwork. And as I said, it's not the highlights, it's the sum that matters. Sometimes we, we see very inhomogeneous cars and at the end this will not be reliable or at least you have a certain risk, right? And then we come to the topic, well, you are usually a, a team with limited resources. You will see it from the first day, there are so many tasks and you have a limited amount of hours that you can dedicate to your race car development. For that point, let me ask uh, some questions. And if you feel you have a convincing answer to all of these questions, I think you should be good. Um, first of all, do you have a project plan? I guess most of you say, yes, sure, we have one. Second question is, who is responsible for that? Who is responsible for reviewing progress? Are you still on track? Are you matching or are you meeting all your deadlines? Somebody has to take care of that. And if, if something is going wrong, well, you should tackle that, right? Um, Another important question is how do you balance effort versus benefit? Maybe it's not worth it to well, dedicate three guys uh, for a full year to save two kilograms on the chassis. Just as an example, you should always think where can we get the most out of our effort, where we can get the most benefit out of our effort. 
And the last, and this is really a pretty interesting and a pretty important one, how do you, how do you preserve and grow knowledge? Usually a lot of smart and skilled team members leave the team after the season. And how do you make sure that the new team members get ramped up quickly and can continue in your uh, development? L let me tell a story about that. It's I know the team, but I, I won't mention the name. I asked them a few questions, technical questions about models that we've developed at the beginning of a season. And the guy called me up and said, and they said, Christoph, oh, I, I'm about to ramp up. Um, I, I can't answer that. At the end of the season, close to the events, um, they are professionals. Um, and I think this is this is your ultimate goal. How to ramp up your new team members, preserve knowledge like a database, wiki. Um, there are so many solutions in place, but you have to do it. You have to invest some, some effort to, to achieve that. Because in the long run, this is key for, for very successful teams. Um, and now I'm coming to simulation. Um, I, I, we always suggest use simulation or modeling to achieve your goals. That requires you, you need to have some goals, right? Definition of goals comes always first. And then there are so many, so many opportunities where simulation can help to achieve your goals and achieve them even faster. You are watching the racing lounge. There are so many episodes um, that show um, topics where simulation is definitely beneficial. Just think about starting your concept or early design of, of your vehicle um, with a lap time simulation. You can identify clearly those areas where you, where you can get most out of your efforts. And there are many examples, many more. And well, this brings us directly to, to the topic how math works, how we are supporting you. Um, I split it up in, in two parts. One is for the very beginners, guys that haven't worked with MATLAB and Simulink before. And the second part is on, on guys with a, a bit more advanced knowledge of, about our tools. So for beginners, I always suggest, well, go to the Academia page and have a look at MATLAB and Simulink tutorials. They are well designed. They give you a pretty nice insight to, well, the key functionalities of MATLAB, Simulink and some other tools. If you have done that and you feel, well, this was good, but I want to do more, um, my suggestion is drop us an email. We have, we have opportunities to, to unleash more material for you. Just formula student at mathworks.com. This is um, the go-to email address. Um, a second step for beginners is I suggest to go to the MathWorks product page because sometimes um, it may be the situation that you know what you want to do um, and you haven't worked with our tools before, but assume you, well, you will be in charge of getting sensor data to a, to a certain model. Well, I would go to the MathWorks product page and go to the data acquisition toolbox, for example. Uh, on that page, you will find some examples, some use cases. There you will find all the features. You will find a link to an excellent documentation. So even though you haven't worked with the tools before, this is a go-to place to, to get some insight in what is possible. And now let's move on to the more advanced users. Um, you're watching the racing lounge, which is well the right thing to do, but it's not the only thing that you can do. Um, but still, racing lounge, um, in the meantime, we have created quite some episodes. I'm pretty sure that there will be topics um, that are interesting for you and your team members. Um, but what else? What else can you do? Well, I always suggest to go to the MathWork support page. It's not only that you have access to documentation. So, for example, have you already checked out the file exchange where users are contributing models? Um, have you checked out MATLAB answers where we answer um, user questions? Um, there are blocks. There are a lot of examples. We have for every product, every functionality, a pre-built demo. So I think this is a place where you can find a lot of support. And well, still imagine you have a technical problem. Um, you, you don't get a solution. You feel that you're wasting time. Well, if you're running on the student competition license, yeah, you're um, free to use our technical support. You can either access it via a web page um, or even better, you access it directly from MATLAB. Um, you see the button here, request support. And well, the guys helping you are engineers, scientists as well. And the ultimate goal is to help you and make you happy. So take that opportunity. Um, well, it's, it's free of charge for you, right? And well, this brings me to the end of today's episode, quite a short one. Well, if you want to get more information, either drop us an email at formulastudent at mathworks.com or sign up for the Racing Lounge Facebook group. You will get automatic, uh, automated updates of everything we do. And if you want to get more information of what we are doing, what the Racing Lounge is, just go to, to the dedicated webpage, which is mathworks.com slash racing lounge. There you will find all information about our software offer, about additional training, um, 
stuff like that. And if you use our support, well, we would appreciate if you put the MathWorks logo on your car, on your reports, or on your team's material. Well, this is the end of the episode. Thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.